हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन लाइक कर्नाटक सीईटी एज वेल एज नीट एग्जामिनेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कसड सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वॉट होमोजिनिटी लेट मी कंसिडर वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल from the concept called dimensional analysis in which they are asking you to find the dimensions of what x and k here so they have given a wave equation here the equation of a wave is given by y is equals to a sin omega x by v minus k into pi so this is the equation given they didn't given any information regarding the terms here generally here v is called velocity of a wave and a is called what the amplitude a is called amplitude and v is called velocity of a wave and y is called displacement of a particles of a wave here y is called displacement of a particle of a wave the wave equation is given here and they are asking you to determine the dimensions or dimensional formula of x as well as what the k how to solve this example let me take uh, the given equation here what is the given equation y is equals to a sin a sin i will take this omega inside i will take this omega inside so that i can write this as omega x by v minus omega into k into pi okay if i take omega inside the resultant equation will be y is equals to sin of omega x divided by v minus omega k into pi definitely this entire term should be theta sin jothe yavaglu theta irbeka and this complete term should be an angle therefore i can write now the same equation can be written as y is equals to what a sin theta what is theta here the theta is equals to what omega x divided by v minus omega k into pi this will call it as a theta and that theta is an angle this complete term is an angle here what is the meaning of this complete term is an angle if you compare this one what i can write omega x by v minus omega k into pi should be an angle because it is treated as what the theta so as we discussed in the previous first day the angle is a dimensionless physical quantity if you consider an angle the angle has a unit but no dimensions and the omega x my divided by v minus omega k pi is an angle at and the angle is dimensionless therefore this entire term is dimensionless because it is equals to an angle therefore what i can write now in the next step i can write omega x by v minus omega k into pi should be should be dimensionless what is the meaning of dimensionless entire term is dimensionless therefore it is m0 l0 and t0 it is a dimensionless that's what the entire term should be equals to m0 l0 t0 if this entire term is dimensionless you know very well two or more quantities can be added two or more quantities can be subtracted two or more quantities can be equated or compared provided they should have the same dimensions yavag rhs dimensions less irutandre definitely ee equation nalli iruvanta ella term kuda dimensionless irutave what is the meaning of this one omega x by v is also dimensionless omega k into pi is also dimensionless 
So this entire term is dimensionless at the time, right? Definitely the first term, which one? Omega x by pi is also dimensionless according to principle of, sorry, omega x by v is also dimensionless according to the principle of homogeneity. What is the meaning of it is dimensionless? It should be m0, l0 and t0. Dimensionless. Okay. Omega x by v is equal to m0, l0, t0. m0 is 1, l0 is 1, t0 is 1. You know very well any number to the power 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, it should be equal to what? 1 l0. m0, l0, t0 is nothing but 1. So, we want dimensions of what? x here. Therefore, x should be equal to transfer model. It should be v divided by omega. What is the value of x here? The x should be equal to v divided by omega, where v is velocity of a wave and omega is called frequency. Angular frequency and thivatwa, simply it is treated as frequency. Okay, what is v? v is velocity and omega is what? Frequency. Tell me what is the dimension formula? v is a velocity. Its dimensional formula is given by m0 l1 t power minus 1. V is a velocity, therefore its dimensional formula is m0 l1 t power minus 1 divided by omega is frequency. The dimensional formula for frequency is frequency is 1 by t. Frequency is 1 by t. Therefore its dimensional formula is t power minus 1. Omega dimensional power is t power minus 1. Therefore t power minus 1, t power minus 1 gets cancelled. Therefore, the dimensions of x is given by m0, it is l1, t0. So, this is the dimensional formula of what? The x. Okay. x is the dimensional formula. Next, k is the dimensional formula. Find out matter. I want to find the dimensional formula of what? The k here. I want to find the dimensional formula of k. As I say you, Omega x by v minus omega k pi is dimensionless at the time, right? Omega x by v is dimensionless as well as omega k into pi is also dimensionless. You do no dimensionless. You do no dimensionless according to the principle of homogeneity. Therefore, next step, I will take what? Next term, that is omega k into pi is also dimensionless. What is the meaning of dimensionless? m0, l0, t0, therefore it is equal to 1. m0, l0, t0 value is 1. m power 0, 1. l power 0, 1. t power 0 is 1. Therefore, m0, l0, t0 value is 1. Then what is k here? k is equal to what? Transfer this side. 1 divided by omega into pi k is equal to 1 divided by omega into pi pi is an angle once again pi is an angle it has no dimensions is it dimensions in the frequency dimensions in the other frequency dimension already we discussed omega dimension is l power minus 1 therefore sorry t power minus 1 therefore 1 divided by omega is t power minus 1 the value of omega is t power minus 1. Take t power minus 1 to the numerator. Definitely k should be equal to t. So this is the dimensions of what? x as well as k in the equation. Okay. Yes. Let me take one more example here. See, let me solve few more examples based on the third application of what dimensions? Which is the third application of dimensions here? Using dimensional analysis, we can derive the correct relation related to physical quantities. Say, for example, time period of a pendulum is depends on length and acceleration due to gravity. Using this information, I can derive an expression which can give us the relation between what? Time period 
length and acceleration due to gravity how time period depends on length and acceleration due to gravity that can be derived with the help of our dimensional analysis let me take one simple example based on the third application of what dimensions and such type of examples are coming in the examinations okay let me take one simple example here in an equation in an equation in an equation f is f is proportional to in an equation f is proportional to m to the power p v to the power q or else you can take m to the power x v to the power y and r to the power z the equation is given in an equation f is proportional to m power x v power y and r power z what are the values what are the values what are the values of x comma y and z what are the values of x y and z and they have given one more information that where f is a force m is mass and v is velocity r is radius okay f is force m is mass v is velocity and r is radius so dimensionally f should have the same dimensions of what m v r f should have the same dimensions of m v r therefore dimensionally in arithmetic dimensionally f should be equals to what m v r the power is given x y and z because dimensionally LHS and RHS are equal. Therefore, F is equals to M to the power X, V to the power Y and R to the power Z here. What is F? What is F here? Force. What is the dimensional formula of force? M G, sorry, M1, L1, T power minus 2. So, this is the dimensional formula of force. Here it is mass. What is the dimensional formula of mass? square bracket of m to the power x m power x is there what is velocity dimensional formula for velocity m0 l1 t power minus 1 is the dimensional formula of velocity to the power y is there i will write it as y next what is r radius radius atandre it is length radius is nothing but length it is the dimensional formula for length is l to the power Z. Okay. M power X, M0, L1, T power minus 1 to the power Y and L power Z. Then LHS, M power 1, L power 1, T power minus 2. Look at the RHS and simplify. Here M power X, here M power 0 into Y. That is, first we will simplify m power x here m power 0 into y 0 l power 1 into y l power y t power minus 1 into y t power minus y okay then the last term is l power z next is m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 which is equal to m power x m power 0 therefore the total m power x here here we have l power y here we have l power z therefore l power sorry y plus z it is l power y l power z then t power is okay lhs we have mlt rhs also we have mlt which means if bases are same we can compare their powers. Base same with the powers and 
ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಂ ಪವರ್ ಒನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಂ ಪವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪವರ್ ವೈ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಒನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೈ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವೈ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವೈ ಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ದೆನ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಟು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಟು ಟು ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಝೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಝೆಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಅನಾಲ